Um, I suppose uh, just just a sense of sadness, really, at the whole thing. Um, in one way, I'm kind of glad the withdrawal agreement's been passed because it, it gives myself and my family enough time to to be able to leave the country without worrying about customs checks and um, getting our pets across the border and stuff like that. Um, so I'm kind of happy about that aspect of it. I do accept it's going to happen. Um, I think it's a, quite a sad thing to, to see finally happening. Um, and I, I just think it's it's a step backwards, really, you know, culturally for, for the United Kingdom to take. It depends how you approach this, doesn't it? I mean, we're we're still in Europe. We haven't towed ourselves yeah. off into the uh, Atlantic, have we? We 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 are still a part of a, a part of a whole, just not in this this grouping called the the EU. You know, is it a question of confidence? Is it a question of digging down into the the, the detail um, uh, and what the reality will be? I mean, what 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 is it that that, that makes you feel sad about this? Well, I, th- I think, I mean, after the referendum, we saw a, a spike in hate crimes against uh, ethnic minorities and, and people from different people from different places. And I think, um, you know, the reaction I had after the announcement of the, the referendum was surprise, which I think an awful, awful lot of people had. But the announced that after the general election announcement, um, my reaction was profound sort of worry and, and sadness because I think we are going to see a rise in... Um, in, in, in hate crimes and I, I don't general... necessarily ex- I, I don't necessarily accept that Richard why we don't accept that as a country and if they're I mean well, what, what who's who's leading that who's inspiring that what what about a political vote could possibly uh, lead us to see a, a, a rise in in hate crime I think I mean I think that's uh, well, I think something it, that we should resist hundred percent oh absolutely yeah but you know you, you're empowering people that you know the people that voted for the, the for Brexit that were solely voting on immigration and there was a lot of them. Um, you know the, the current government majority now empowers those opinions of those people that have maybe lent their vote to the Tories this time round to get Brexit done. But you know I think you will see a rise in, in anti-immigrant sentiment here. Um, I've definitely experienced this. Well, I, I, I mean, I, I did you you oh you experienced that? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, we're from Ireland. I can tell. Yeah, and um, we decided after the referendum, we decided to to have a long look at our future here, and and ultimately we decided to move to France. Um, And, you know, that's going ahead now, and the withdrawal agreement gives us that, like I said, that extra buffer to get ourselves and our our pets across the border because, you know, everything will remain the same during the transition. But I just feel that... So you are relocating, Richard, because of this. Because of Brexit, you're going. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, Why much. France? Um, well, I'll, I'll, it's a lovely place to live, and uh, house prices are nice and cheap. Yeah. And we've lived there before, so it, it was, um, and the weather's better. So an awful lot of reasons. But the, one of the main driving factors was, was Brexit. And, you know, I'm sure everything will work out fine, but I don't really want to, you know, have that uncertainty for the next five or ten years. Um, right. And I'd rather, I'd rather buy a house in France than buy a house here. All right, Richard. But... but I, but I do, I do think that um, you know that you will see a rise in anti-immigrant sentiment here because ultimately, when it doesn't work out as great as it's supposed to be, um, you know someone will need to be blamed. And that's a very you know, you know what I, I've EU. got. A, I, I think that is such a pessimistic view. I understand why you hold it, but I I, I don't accept that in my life that that's that's the way it has to be. I, and I haven't seen a rise in that. Perhaps you might say, well, I haven't. You know, wh- wh- why would I? But why would anybody? Depends, I guess, wh- where you well, live. You, you can look at the figures from from after the referendum. There was a spike in hate crime, and, and I believe as this. Do you know, I haven't seen. Do you know, I have not seen. I have not seen that those figures. And and nowadays, whenever you say it's a hate crime, if something is, perce- I think the definition of a hate crime is a bit of an issue as well. To be qu- quite frank with you, and I think that might have accounted for some of that rise. Uh, n- nowadays, if somebody says that was a hate crime, it, it is a hate crime and is recorded as such. I just, I, I, I hope I'm. I, I hope you're wrong and, I, and I'm right on this, but uh, w- time, too, time will yeah. tell. Richard, take care and uh, safe move to you. Appreciate you calling Thank for the uh, first time. Thank He's you. off to France. He's had quite enough. 